Welcome back to the Mysterious Ripley House. Um, we are, are all set to dive into episode 22. Um, so to find out who the story is about today, um, let's dive right in. Episode 22 of the Mysterious Ripley House. Bianca had to decide whether or not to open the dangerous box and let out the small squeaking thing inside that said, let me out. We'll all have to wait and see whether she did or not, however. Because now our attention turns towards Raphael, Audrey, and Tim. And, of course, Jim the Vampire. We should go find the singing dog, Audrey said. Yeah, but we can't, Raphael said. Bianca is under a curse. We have to set her free. We don't know that, Raphael, Audrey said. Maybe she just ran off. She's under a curse, Raphael said. Either way, Tim said. We can't help her until we learn more. And who knows where she is or what the curse is. What, can, what we can do is first, is find the key. Then we can get Bianca back and finally get out of this house. But Raphael said, we are going to get Bianca back first, right? We're not just going to leave her here? Tim put his hand on Raphael's shoulder. Of course, Tim said. We're a family now. Bianca is like our little sister. We are not going to leave her in this house. We'll solve the curse. Raphael nodded. Still, it wasn't a pleasant prospect for any of them. What if they found the key and were ready to go, and then it took days or weeks to find out what had happened to Bianca? Raphael just wanted to go home. Let's look for the dog, Raphael agreed. Maybe we'll find a way to get help Bianca on the way. So... The group trooped upstairs. Little did they know, Bianca was just ahead of, ahead of them on her own adventure. But of course, they wouldn't find that out until later. They climbed up the steps and started looking for the singing dog who had swallowed the key. It was funny to look for a dog in such a huge, quiet, empty house. Do you know the dog's name? Audrey asked. I'm afraid I don't, Jim said. Maybe if we get lucky and say the right thing, the dog will come running, Raphael said. Maybe we can guess its name, Audrey said. At that moment, they heard a funny song. I am small, but I am quick. I am cute and no good tricks. That sounds like the dog, Jim said. Where is the singing coming from, Audrey said. At that moment, a strange, misty, glittering fog floated out into the hallway. It was blown from the open mouth of one of the statues. This mist is weird, Tim said. I feel like sneezing, Audrey said. I feel like sleeping, Raphael said. He yawned. I'm falling. Audrey yawned too, and then so did Jim. Oh no, Jim said, I can't fall asleep. If I fall asleep, I can only be reawakened by the bell inside the basement. Audrey was so sleepy, she had to lie down. But, she thought, if only we could call the singing dog. Maybe the dog will wake us up. All right, my friends, that is the end of episode 22. Um, you guys have some fun votes for today. Um, of course, you guys probably already guessed it. Um, you're going to try to guess the dog's name now. Um, and if you guess right, um, they can call things out to the dog. And if they get the dog's names right, maybe the dog will come running um, and save them from falling asleep. Um, and of course, we have to help poor Jim because we probably don't want to go all the way back down to the basement to get that bell. Otherwise, he'll, he'll be a, a sleeping vampire. Um, also tell us who the adventure should be about tomorrow, if we should keep going with these guys, or if we should go and check back in with Bianca and find out what's happening with her. Um, and also, you guys get to pick um, a weird, funny side effect from the fog. The fog that came out of the statue and it made them fall asleep. But when they wake back up, or if they, you know, if they get up and don't fall asleep at all, either way, the fog has affected them a little bit. Um, and something really funny can be a side effect of the fog, like maybe they, they float or they talk in really high-pitched voices or something. So you guys can get creative um, and, and send some ideas for what you think the weird fog should do as a funny side effect. Um, so that is it. Uh, vote, tell a friend, and your mission for the day is to 
uh, try to remember something from when you were three or four, one of your first memories, and you can just think about it and be like, oh, well, that's weird. Kind of take a, a museum tour through your own uh, memories, um, or you can write about it and write about one of your earliest childhood memories and um, try to remember as much about it, like smells and colors and, and see how far deep into the memory you can get, which is a great um, writing exercise. And it's just kind of a fun and weird thing to do. So that's your mission of the day. Um, that is it, my friends. Stay electric. Stay bananas, and I will see you guys tomorrow.